Okay, so this is this is homework help for um, Unit 4, Objective 5. So I'm starting on page 460, and then this is question number 1. So they want us to solve. So in order to solve for x, we need to isolate the radical. So that means both of the 3's need to move to the other side. And we're going to do inverse operations. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the plus 3. So I need to subtract 3 to both sides. That's 0, and 15 minus 3 is 12. And then now I want to get rid of the 3 in front, right, because I'm trying to get rid of any outside influence on the square root. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And that's just 4. And then there is nothing outside of the square root, so now I'm ready to square both sides. So I'm going to square both sides. So root x squared is just x, and then 4 squared is 16. And I don't have to check for extraneous solutions. Okay. And then let's jump to number 8. Okay, so this is number 8 on page 462. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I know to the 1 half power is the same as the square root. So I'm going to rewrite that, and then I'm also going to add 1 to both sides. So to the 1 half power is the square root, and then add 1. So now there's nothing else outside of the square root, so I'm going to square both sides. And then that's just x plus 3. And then I have to write this twice so I can distribute. So then I have x plus 3, and distribute the x to both of these, so that would be x squared plus 1x and then distribute the 1 to both. So that would be 1x plus 1. Then I'm going to combine like terms. So 1x plus 1x. Okay. And then I have a quadratic, so that means I have to solve by factoring. So that means I need to set it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract x and 3 from both sides, and I'm going to line it up to what I can combine it with. So that will be 0. So let's move up over here. And then I still have my x squared. And then 2x minus 1x is a positive 1x. And then 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And then I want to factor it. So the factors of 2 are just 2 and 1. So I know it has to be 2 and 1. And then I want it to be a positive 1, so that means this is negative. So that's x squared, and then 2x minus 1x, and then negative 2. Set each factor equal to 0. And subtract 2, and add 1. So I solved by factoring, um, so that means there is probably an extraneous solution. So if I just do my shortcut, I can just know that the square root has to equal a positive number. So if I replace negative 2 into here, negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1, so this is my extraneous. If I replace it with 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, and so then that is my good solution. Okay. And so again, I could plug it into the original to check it as well, so if I plug in 1, that would give me 4, the square root of 4 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, okay? All right, and then... Okay, let's take a look at... Um, this is problem number 15 on page 464. So I want to... Um, get x by its, or the radical by itself. So I can't add these together, right? I can't do 5 minus 2 is 3, because I'm looking to solve. So the first thing I want to do is I want to subtract 5, because this is a positive 5. So that's 0. And then 3 minus 5 is negative 2. And then divide both sides by negative 2. And then that is positive 1. So there's nothing outside of the radical anymore, so now I want to square both sides. So then x equals 1 squared, which is 1.
And that's for objective five.